Hello and welcome to Adaptation, the vlog where we talk about film adaptations and the original material they're based on. I'm Kendall Bryant and for this, our last vlog of the year, I'm here to give you the adaptation team's favorite adaptations of 2013. Now my favorite thing about the list we've come up with is the wide variety of mediums, from the source material to the adaptations themselves. So with no further ado, let's start with Much Ado About Nothing. If you've been around here a while, you know that I'm an intense Joss Whedon fangirl. So when I heard he was adapting Shakespeare, I was more than a little excited. Filmed during the 12 day break he had from Avengers, this film stars more than a few Joss Whedon veteran actors. And it's brilliant. It's done in modern dress while using the original Shakespearean, which is delivered so conversationally that it just works. And using the set and adding scenes without dialogue and other visuals, the script is modernized into a scenario that wouldn't be out of place today. I could go on, but we have an entire podcast covering it, so I'll move on. This time to a stage musical based on a film and an old folk tale, and a little bit on real life. I'm talking about Twisted, the untold story of a royal vizier by Star Kid Productions. For their newest musical, our favorite Kids of the Stars told us Disney's Aladdin from Jafar's perspective, while adding some elements from the original tale and a little Disney Pixar metaphor. A couple of our hosts have been watching it on loop since it premiered at the beginning of December on YouTube, and I don't blame them. This is one of those shows where you laugh so hard that you cry, and then you cry for real, all while singing along to lyrics as brilliant as whistle while you swallow a spoonful of sugar and your dreams will come true upon a star. Yeah, that happened. And while we're on the subject of YouTube sensations, even though the Lizzie Bennet Diaries premiered in 2012, it ended this year, so we're gonna count it. We have a fair share of Austinites on the adaptation team, and we were all in love with the LBD, a vlog-style web series based on Pride and Prejudice. We were the ones refreshing our subscription feeds every Monday and Thursday, and having discussions late into the night about how we thought the story was going to progress. But even with all of that discussion, the series still managed to surprise us with how it brought some of the storylines into modern day. And while snarky and hilarious, by the end we were in tears for characters that we never thought we would care about. Moving on to another series, season 2 of Arrow has made our list by being pretty much awesome. Seriously the best live action comic book TV show out there because it's not connected to the movies. So it doesn't have to worry about using big villains and then screwing up the film universe. Not that we're opposed to crossover mediums at all, but there is something to be said for writers having no boundaries as to how they want their own story to progress. And season two improved itself on season one by dropping some of the worst bits of the storyline, aka sappy love triangles, which you know we hate around here. For more on how we hate love triangles, or more accurately how the media loves them, you can check out the podcast on our last entry on this list, The Hunger Games Catching Fire, the second film in the adaptation from Suzanne Collins' trilogy. Now this movie was all of our hosts' first pick for their favorite adaptation of 2013 until they found out that everybody else picked it. I really can't say enough about every single element of this film, from the acting, which was brilliant as ever, to the visuals that were astounding, to the plotline that was so perfectly streamlined from the book that book readers didn't even realize that parts were missing until the film was over. Like I said, we've done a whole podcast on this, so let me just say that this film is how you do adaptations right. Well, that's it for our list of 2013 favorites, but I have a feeling that you lovely viewers have a few more of your own to add. Let us know in the comments and be sure to check out the links to our Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook pages in the info section. You can also find a link to our podcast on iTunes where we have discussed most of these things in a little bit more depth. Until next time, say goodbye to this year of fabulous adaptations and hello to another.